It's Steve D'Angelo. I'd like to wish a warm and wonderful new year to all of our patients, to our supporters, our helpers, our advisors, everybody who believes in our cause. Thank you for sticking with us through the dark days of 2012. I'm happy to report that the new year has gotten off to a great start with federal judge Maria Elena James ruling that Harborside can stay open unless and until the federal prosecutors persuade a Bay Area jury to convict us and seize the property we're located in. And I don't think that that's going to happen, not for a long time, probably not ever. Judge James rejected motions by our landlords to force us to immediately stop selling cannabis. And so she set the stage for a jury trial to start somewhere between a year to two years from now. Until then, until the end of that trial, uh, we are going to continue doing what we've done since we opened our doors six years ago. We're going to provide our patients with the very best cannabis that we can find in the very largest selection, in the safest and most beautiful environment that we know how to create. We're never ever going to abandon our patients and we're never ever going to stop this fight for justice until we are successful. Judge James's ruling reaffirms the lesson that a small group of committed and determined people who have the truth and justice on their side, who never ever quit, can be just as powerful can be more powerful than the most powerful government on earth. We are now at the tipping point in our movement. We are winning new friends every day from some of the most unlikely quarters. It's now time for the federal government to read the writing on the wall, to correct this historic wrong that's labeled the most valuable plant on the planet as a dangerous drug, to relieve the suffering of thousands of inmates in prisons and millions of patients in sick beds and hospitals all across the country. And the federal government can do that with one simple and obvious act of justice. Respect the will of the voters in those states that have legalized cannabis, whether for medical purposes or adult use purposes. The Department of Justice should immediately freeze all enforcement actions against state-compliant cannabis providers and make sure that in the future state cannabis laws are rigorously respected by the DOJ. You know, we have a lot as a community to celebrate this holiday season, this new year. The tide has turned on our issue and the wind is at our backs. But our struggle's not over. Uh, just as I was delighted to be reading about Harborside's victory in the news media, I was heartbroken, I was enraged to read about Aaron Singandusky. Aaron was just sentenced to 10 years in federal prison simply for selling cannabis in compliance with California state law. We can never, ever forget about Aaron or the thousands of prisoners like Aaron. Our job is not going to be done until the last of those prisoners walks out of the last of those cells and into the loving arms of their family and the loving arms of this community. Until that day comes, I look forward to meeting, to marching, to organizing with each and every one of you to do this good work, to right this wrong, to make sure that nobody ever again loses their kids or their homes or their job or their freedom or their health because of these stupid, destructive, outdated cannabis laws. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening to me. I'll be in touch the next time I have something to say.